and it made me see what startup all about. And I love the technology side. I work for bigger technology companies. So I start to read about all those exciting things. Then I'm like, oh, maybe I can have my business, but what I can do. I was good in arts as a kid. And as an adult, I love drinking wine. So I thought about those two business. I was thinking, well, about wine, do I do wine to export wine from Canada to China, maybe? Then I explore that. It, it seems the logistic is difficult and a lot of import export thing. It's not as easy as setting up an art business. Or that's what I thought at least. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll do an online art gallery and I start to approach artists. And naively and everyone's like, who are you? <laughs> no one. So it was a lot of rejections, learning rejections in my early days that helped, but that's quite heartbroken. Um, also learning it to do it the wrong way. Now, of course, I'll always ask people, even if you want to build an art business, build up your customer first. Learn what they will do, who can buy from you, how they will buy before you bring in the artists. If you have, for example, 10 potential customers, the artists will line up for you. If you can sell one painting, the others will come to line up and knock on your door. Forget about who you are. It doesn't matter of your experience, it's a matter of what you can do. Can you sell? If you can prove to them you can sell, you don't need to waste the time to make contact a thousand artists and only get a few who say yes and you build, spend and wasting money to build up your website. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> but luckily a few that trust me and this is one of the artists, she's a Korean artist at the background and she's, uh, I would present her, I showcase her work in international exhibitions. That's how I also met my other consulting clients. One thing led to the other. So <laughs> yeah, uh, you have to hustle, but also net thing. We have to, now I learned something about put yourself out there, hustle, but at the same time, net, letting it go. Make it happen and let it happen. That's where you see where your thing land and take it from there. Yeah, that's amazing. It's a great story. But I thought what a brave action to think what you enjoy and then make a business out of it without having experience. Then you said you closed the business, but at the same time, this gave you the base of clients for your current business. So it's <laughs> definitely a success. <laughs> pivot <laughs> yeah this is amazing thank you for sharing the story because when you are experiencing something you feel that's it that's the result but then there are future implications of everything that you experienced absolutely the rejection also helped me to approach other people like when i got my first five figure kinds um I, I didn't have anything to show. I didn't have my website. I didn't, did I have my name? I didn't, I might not even have my business name. I just gave her some advice. I just told her I can help her. I just, and she said she want to double her business within the next month, next six months. And I said, I can help you and let's talk. So after a few talk, it makes sense to her. She's a smart business woman who build her business to be 500,000. And in six months, I have to double her, her like to, to make one million 